Good afternoon. Uh, today's little demonstration is to introduce the rapid disinfector, or also known as ultraviolet disinfection. Which basically is radiation cleaning. After housekeeping has came in and, and I cleaned the room, I come in to add an extra layer of disinfection using this machine. Uh, Basically, it's the center unit. And then you have four of these sensors, which basically picks up the radiation from the machine and indicates that there's actually disinfection going on. Uh, they're strategically placed depending on the configuration of the room. Every room is different. And in this type of room, we have a small toilet, which we have to disinfect. The other sensors will be placed about the room. And let's start. Uh, these sensors have different lights. One for charging, when the red light is on, that means your sensor is active and ready to start registering. There are four sensors, plus the machine that will operate this, because I cannot be in the room once this machine is turned on. After the sensors have been placed, positioned, they should not be removed or moved as much as possible. Now the next step, once our sensors are on the floor and positioned, we start moving the equipment for maximum exposure. Since we'll be working on the left-hand side, we will raise the bed, the, the arm rest, or the side of the bed, facing the light. So this way, maximum exposure to the light. The bed should be at a medium height, not too high, not too low. You want to get as much light as possible around the bed. As far as wires, uh, these pumps, if you can open them, you open them. If not, then the exterior will be exposed. Any bunching of equipment, cords, uh, hoses, as much as possible, spread them out so as much light as possible can hit them. And depending on some rooms, you will not have this much equipment, so things will go a little faster. But the point is to get as much light as possible on the equipment. You have too many wires, try to put them where you can do as much as you can. And the ultraviolet machine comes with safety features, which is this door sensor that anytime this the sensor is cut, it will automatically shut off the machine. If a shadow comes by because there's a motion detector on this machine, curtains, uh, flapping pillow uh, stickers will stop the machine, which is a good thing. And if you should by any chance have to come into the, the, the room, you have a 15 second grace period where you don't have to worry about the radiation. This is the door sensor. It's the second of three safety features that the ultraviolet disinfector has. Uh, basically, it's a magnet that we stick to a door. We turn it on, and if should anybody open the door, it will automatically stop the machine. This is the iPad that actually controls it because you are not in the room, and nor should you ever be in the room when this machine is turned on. You'll have ample indicators telling you when the machine is active, if there is something in the room 
moving either from the wind, the window, the, the curtain moving too much, the machine will not operate because of the motion detector that is on this machine. And that is another safety feature which I'm grateful for. Um, basically, we have pre-programmed for different hospitals, whether it's in the United States, Canada, or around the world, wherever this is going to be shown. You'll have your own specifications for this little tablet. You cannot operate the machine without this tablet, so be careful with it. Uh, you have, in this case, we're in the IC unit of the Ottawa Hospital. So this, on this side, it is pre-programmed for the number of rooms that we have. So in this case, would be ICU South. And there we go. The room we're in right now is room number one. And now it's telling me that it's a green. It's green, it's good to go. So we can start operating the machine. Now step out of the room to the antechamber to my right and we'll start the, the machine going. Now we're repositioning the ultraviolet disinfector because sensor number one has reached its target ratio and once that is achieved you move the machine not the sensor and uh, as much as possible sometimes it's going to be a little more difficult because of the equipment in the room but try not to hit the sensor and, the, and move it because the, the machine is already calibrated for where they are in the room. So now, we're moving the machine closer to the sensor. Now this part here has already been hit by ultraviolet light. So now, we have to move some equipment around. So the sides that weren't exposed to the light will get a dose. And since the, the machine will be going right around the room, Try to keep that in mind when you're moving your equipment. And I can't stress enough, wear gloves, wash your hands. So, the equipment that's here has already been hit by a dose, so we're going to turn it around to expose the dark side of it or the back side, whichever you prefer. Now that the target ratio has been reached on sensor number two, we will be moving to the opposite side of the room. Making sure not to move the sensors. And because of the configuration of this room, to get the front part of the bed, it is possible that you'll have to move the bed a bit in order to get the proper angle. To get maximum exposure. And since this side of the bed has already been clean, uh, ultraviolet light. You go to the opposite side, you lift up the rail. Very important, now that this equipment has been disinfected, you have to move it around to do the other side of it. Whenever possible, try not to bunch up the, the wires and move the spaces a little bit so everything gets covered at least once. And 
so tar uh, sensor number three has reached its target ratio of 46,000, meaning that the sensor has been bombarded 46,000 times in three minutes. So now we're moving into the last sensor to reach its target ratio. But one thing that you need to remember is that once the, the machine is active, if the sensors are in direct sight of receiving the light, they are receiving radiation because the, it radiates out through the room. So from sensor to sensor, it takes about three minutes to reach its target ratio of 46,000. But if the machine over here, the sensor two is picking up radiation, it's being disinfected, so it's gonna add up. So instead of taking three minutes to receive 46,000 its ratio, it'll take less time. It could take two minutes, three, it varies from the distance the, the sensors are from the machine. So you take that into consideration. So now, sensor four has reached its target ratio. So now the second most important part, putting the machine away. And I can't stress enough, do not forget the sensors. So every sensor has its place inside the machine. There's four sensors. Make sure you collect all four. And very important, the door sensor, which is on the outside. So once you leave the room with the machine, make sure to collect the door sensor, or else you won't be able to operate the machine. And depending on where you're working, the equipment as you see the room right now, you will probably have to do it. If not, one of your coworkers or other team members will come in and reset up the room. Thank you. Now we're picking up the equipment because the room is done. Make sure to pick up all the sensors because the machine will not work if you're missing a sensor. And very important, the door sensor. Do not forget it. It is a safety feature and you absolutely need it. And finally, we unplug. Depending on where you're working, either you will have to reset the room or one of your team members or will come and finish the room. Reset it and it's ready to go. I hope you enjoyed this little video. Have a nice day.